is, it's Adam Alhiraki, aka Dooms, aka the top of your mom's favorite list on her iPhone. Um, I've been here, most people know me through beast mode, I'm the champion there, I've defended the title twice, I've gone 9-0 right now in 9 battles and I mainly do that downtown in the Battle League, but I come from Eastside Scarborough, I'm mainly repping all around the east side, anywhere you can find there, and I'll be there. First off, I have to thank Lil Fox Photography for the documentary and the shots. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Adam underscore Dooms. Follow Beast Mode on Twitter at Beast Mode Battle, no S. Follow them on Facebook, join the group at Beast Mode Battles. And you can also find all the battles online at youtube.com slash Beast Mode Battles. Go share, rate, comment, and subscribe. Yo, I want to give a big shout out to all my friends and family that have supported me, and that's uh, Greasy, Scarborough, JP, Atum, Danny Darko, DJ, Nichelle, Gosan, and at Hoop Plus The Harm on Twitter. Um, I have to give a big shout out to the fans, of course, because you guys have always supported me, brought me to where I am, and without your support and all your comments and uh, the never ending support, pretty much, I wouldn't be here where I am and I wouldn't have had the motivation to get here. So I have to thank you guys a lot, and I really appreciate it. From the chat. So uh, the way I got into beast mode is actually a funny story now at this point in time. At first it wasn't, but I had a friend, his name is Heartless, he, uh, he battles in beast mode now along with his uh, cousin and his friend Redout, and I used to be their friends when I first started hanging around with them. He was battling in beast mode and he told me, hey, you should come in and join, you have bars, you, he's heard some of my tracks, and he's like, hey, you should go in. So I ended up going into beast mode, I ended up winning my first two battles and then getting invited into the tournament with this guy who is no longer my friend anymore because after I had won the tournament we had a bit of a falling out but that's another story for another time but you can check the video out by searching Dooms and Scarborough vs Heartless and Red Out. We took their money. So I got into Beast Mode first after he'd showed me it and I ended up going in and doing my first battle against a guy named John Doe and after that I had a very good performance. I was battling the night because there weren't any really big names who were battling at the time so I got the pleasure and like the kind of coincidence of being at a time and coming in and debuting at a time where I could shine and get my name known because there wasn't anyone else big. So I did that and afterwards I did my second battle at the next event and after that I got invited into the big tournament because they thought I was good enough and I was the only underdog, the only guy who had only had about two battles or less and so they got me in and after that I won the four round tournament. It was 16 men and I ended up becoming the champion and after that I defended the title twice, once against a guy named Rob Whiskey, once against a guy named A2. Uh, in between that time I battled Heartless and Red Out and since then I battled Pumpkinhead as a promotional title spot and that's how I got into it and where I am today. I started Beast Mode when I was 20, a uh, couple months before I turned 21. Uh, it was in the summertime, uh, August of 2011 I believe. and. I got in there, I was pretty young, but it all happened pretty fast and it was a good time to get into it as well because the battle scene in the league itself was only on volume 4 at this time so uh, because of that, because the league was still evolving, it was a good time to get into it as well and uh, also the league is still going to this day. I always loved making music but after I entered university I kind of took a downfall with it and I didn't have enough time to do it but at the same time I still wanted to get out some way of my feelings and maybe even some of my aggression and some of the problems that I had and deliver it in a way that I could also get a message across so I decided to go and after I heard about the battling from a Heartless I went and I did it and I think that the reason why I do it is because it gives me a drive for my hobbies and it helps me take it to like a different place and gives me a platform and a stage to set, us, set upon for people to watch and I think that's pretty cool. I do it for mostly for people's enjoyment, for people to see, and I always like it when people come and they message me and they tell me, oh, like I watched it and I really thought it was entertaining or I really thought it was funny or I showed it to so-and-so and we really laughed. I think you're really good. It really gives me a drive to do better and I don't get big-headed. I think that it's better to stay humble and keep yourself improving rather than just be big-headed with where you are because that's where you stop growing and you start being restrained. So I do it for the love and I do it for hip-hop, really, and for everyone's enjoyment. Yiggity yo, it's your boy Dooms. Appreciate you checking me out. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on everything at Adam underscore Dooms. Follow Beast Mode on Twitter at Beast Mode Battle. No S, do not put an S. No Z, no Beast Mode Battle. And you can search me up online, search me on YouTube, search me on anything. Google me, D O U M Z. Whoop. Swagger.
So thanks for watching again, and shout out to all the friends, family, and fans. It's a rap. I'm like Randy Orton, Undertaker of this rap shit. Everybody make some noise. Or beef mode. If we got beef, bro, meet me at beast mode. Come talk and talk all you want. I won't speak though. Keep what I tell to the man's on a knee. No.